welfare benefits on the reforms. The amount people can claim in benefits is to be capped. It starts this process in four London boroughs from today and then it will be extended across uh, England and Wales and Scotland by September of this year. So it's the start of a very significant change uh, geographically and in terms of the numbers of people affected. No household will be able to claim more than £500 each week. That is the cap. Single people will be limited to £350. Um, and the cap does not apply, by the way, to pensioners or those on disability benefits. I spoke earlier to Grant Chaps, the Conservative Party chairman, and he told me this is all about getting people back into work. Um, and really, the reform was badly needed and, in his view, very popular with members of the public. We're going to talk now to Joanna Kennedy, chief executive of the Zacchaeus 2000 Trust. That's a London-based charity which has been helping those affected by the benefits cap. Uh, in Haringey and elsewhere. Joanna, thanks for coming in. Not at all. Um, the popularity of the policy, I mean, this is the issue that lots of people who are wanting to make claims about it have maybe an issue with because ministers are saying, excuse me, most people are behind this. They think that the benefits thing has gone far enough, it needs to be reformed. How do you tackle that point first? Well, the popularity is based entirely on a number of misconceptions, particularly the, uh, the government line, which is that the cap is set at the average, uh, average that can be earned by a, a, a working family, which is £35,000. That is completely misleading because an average family who lived in a high rent area earning £35,000 would also be entitled to substantial benefits. That would not be their income. And so, for example, a family with three children living in London earning £35,000 would be entitled to a further £14,000 in benefits. So no non-working family can ever earn more than the equivalent working family. It is a, a, a complete misconception, but a lot of people don't understand that. And they particularly don't understand it if they don't live in London or other high rent areas. Because um, for someone receiving 500 pounds a week in London, um, on the whole, rents being what they are, 400 pounds of that 500 pounds will go in rent. And that's, the, that's an already capped amount. 80%? Yes. That's an already capped amount. Um, that's the maximum you can get in house, on housing benefit. But um, it's very, very difficult to find any properties at that level uh, in London. But so that's so if, if we take your point about the fact that this is a misleading figure, what then for you was the rationale of pushing through with this? Is it to do with the fact that people feel that welfare and welfare bills are simply out of control? Yes, I think people do think that. And again, I think that's based on a complete misconception. Um, the government always talk about the totality of the welfare bill, but obviously the overwhelming uh, majority of that bill is paid to pensioners, all of whose benefits are completely ring-fenced. And the amount of the uh, benefit bill that is paid to the unemployed is absolutely tiny relative to, uh, to the overall amount. And in fact, there are far more people in, there are more people in work receiving benefits than people who are out of work. There's 6.1 uh, people in work, in work who are still poor and receiving benefits. When we talk about families with lots of children, I made this point to Mr Chaps earlier, let's say, I say lots, four, five, six, yes. or for most people who consider that lots of children, yes. um, are they more vulnerable than anybody else? Yes, they are, but but it, it is also, as I said, a family with three children would also who lived in London would also be affected. So there are very, very large numbers being affected. And the argument that this is about getting people into work is also, I'm afraid, completely and utterly misleading. Um, of those who are affected by the benefit cap, only 34% of them are eligible to work at all. The rest of them are carers or people who, or people who have small children or people who are out of work because of illness but who are not entitled to disability benefits. So that's a very small proportion. They are 34% is quite, I mean, it's a third, isn't it? It's not a very small proportion. Well, yes, but, but OK, but it's, mm -hmm. it's a proportion rather than the totality. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. they talk about the, this being about people getting into work. Um, most people who are affected by the cap in London, for example, will have to move uh, because they won't be able to afford their rents and they'll have to move to areas where there is no work um, because the only areas where the rents are low enough to accommodate the amounts of the benefits are areas where there's no work. So uh, that defeats the object. Um, another reason why it isn't going to help people and people into work is because for many years now anybody who was obliged to work is already subject to sanctions if they're not looking for for work this doesn't create any new uh, um, 
uh, uh, disincentive to work, uh, to not working. Mm -hmm. You know, those those are already there. The reasons why uh, work doesn't pay is not because of benefits. It's because wages are too low, rents are too high, childcare costs are too high, and travel costs are too high. Uh, one final thought: When Mr. Shapps talks about a generous foundation transition pot, if you like, to help people who are in need, those people who are targeted very carefully because their circumstances are particular or exceptional. Do you not think that that kind of transition money will help the process that you're talking about? It, it will help a, a little, but there are a number of different... This is just one of many uh, elements of welfare reform. They're always The government always talk about them as in, in, in individually, as if they didn't form part of an overall picture. That fund for discretionary housing payments is intended to deal with lots of different situations. People affected by the caps, people affected by the bedroom tax, uh, people have already affected by uh, the changes to housing benefit, it's, it's got to cover a multitude of problems and there's nothing like enough. Joanna Kennedy, good to talk to you and thanks for coming in. Good to talk Thank to you me. very much. Joanna Kennedy there of the uh, Zacchaeus 2000 Trust.